Hello everyone. So new chess controversy has started and this time the person who is criticized is a super grandmaster Ali Reza Firuja. Thing is he is being criticized that he is playing a local tournament in France which we are going to see how much local it is and this he is doing just so that he could increase his rating and get a spot for the candidates tournament. So let's go on to our screen. So as you can see this is the article by Sportskeeda okay and here what you can see is Grandmaster Ali Reza Firuja under fire for seeking quick elo points new chess controversy explained okay. So let's check what this controversy is all about. So here you can clearly see it is mentioned Ali Reza Firuja the chess grandmaster of French Iranian descent and part time content creator has recently faced criticism for appearing to engage in a mini tournament in his native country competing against player with significantly lower ratings. So here let's see what is happening. This candidates tournament which is coming in 2024 is becoming really really intense. So many things are going on around the world. Yeah, before this like one video I have mentioned that how there was a criticism against the Chennai Grandmasters Open that this uh, Chennai Grandmasters Open is just for Gukesh and uh, Arjun Irigasi. But there we have discussed all the details like what was the say of Vishwanath Anand and everything. Plus I have made a video on the candidates tournament like what are the possibilities and everything. Both the videos you can check and those are in the descriptions. Okay. Now let's come back here. So what is happening here? So here you can see that the claim is that he is participating uh, like he is playing against the players who are much lower rated than him. Okay. This move is perceived as an attempt to swiftly accumulate rating points possibly enhancing his chances of qualifying for the candidates tournament. So the claim is like if he is playing this thing and it is really organized in such a way that as he wins all the games so he will be able to make to the candidates cut and also like what are the things and everything going on that also we will see. For context two spots remain available for candidates tournament in 2024. One of this position will be awarded to the player with highest rating in January 2024 among those who uh, have yet to qualify provided below is the list. So here in the list like it is like quite uh, like uh, small but still I will read it out to you. So Ian is selected Magnus Carlsen and there is a cut line on the Magnus Carlsen because Magnus Carlsen is expected to withdraw then Pragnanda is selected Karuana. Nijat Abbaso is expected to be selected if Magnus Carlsen withdraws. Vidit is selected, Hikaru Nakamura is selected. So two people are remaining. First will be the winner of FIDE circuit and one will be who has the highest ratings. So in the last video one thing I have discussed that Gukesh have recently lost some of the like the rating points at the higher level. So because of this that his chances reduced and in India that uh, tournament got organized just four days prior the information so means it was a very quick decision because of that criticism has been faced but at the same time in the same video I have explained that how Ding Liren became the world champion that Chinese chess association have organized 26 classical games in a span of just one month just so that uh, Ding Liren should be able to qualify. So little bit bending of rules is happening that's why this candidates 2024 is becoming really intense. Plus why this is becoming so intense is the reason is Magnus Carlsen is expected that not to play and I feel that Magnus won't be playing mostly uh, otherwise if he wanted to he would have just crowned the world championship and never would have just given it up like that okay. So here what I feel is uh, as Magnus Carlsen is not there so everyone is thinking that it's their chance now that after Magnus as Magnus is not there so it will become little bit easier. To qualify and become a world champion that's why all these fights are going on all around the world so what has FIDE said about Ali Reza Firuja so that that's also important currently based on live rating Wesley so is 2757 holds a higher position than Ali Reza Firuja it's not mentioned that he is highest Wesley so is higher okay so Ali Reza Firuja is having 2751 and Wesley so 2757 so almost around now you can see 5 to 6 points difference is there 
This implies that if the decision comes down to who has a higher rating in January 2024, so would be favored. In an attempt to alter this situation, Ali Reza is actively participating in the Carters tournament in France. So this tournament is going on in the France. This move has understandably sparked significant criticism among the chess community, with many chess enthusiasts expressing their concern. Fide has also entered the conversation stating, what Fide has said that is important. International Chess Federation would like to point out that according to clause 0.4 of this rating regulations, Fide reserves the right not to rate a specific tournament. So what does this mean? If Fide feels that there is some unethical or some really some tournament is organized which is not as per the Fide regulations, Fide rules. FIDE can like just cancel out like simply just not consider that tournament but but one thing you can see clearly it is written FIDE has clarified that they have decided uh, that they have not decided sorry whether they will permit Harley Reza Firuja to accumulate points from the ongoing tournament he participating in. So currently nothing is there that it will be considered or not considered there is no decision yet. FIDE has already sent an official request to organizers of the event. We will carefully follow and investigate all the aspects of the organization of the above mentioned tournament and all the games played by its participants for deciding whether to rate it. So this official letters thing and all that things is sent. But it's also important to see what Wesley So has to say. One thing, it is a real danger that what Wesley So has stated. Naturally, the news of Ali Reza Firuja exploring new tournament before year's end has prompted a variety of reactions, particularly from Wesley So. So is facing the risk of being displaced from candidates' qualification if Ali Reza is permitted to retain the points gained from this tournament. In reaction to this ongoing controversy, So posted this. So this is a uh, like the latest, you can see the tweet from the Wesley So. What he said, I have been offered many times and still do to arrange matches against players who could use a bit of cash and are more than happy to help you qualify for the candidates. The thing is, it's against everything we stand up for and if you got any morals, I doubt you will want to do it. So this is something that we really don't want to happen in chess. This is a direct corruption of rating. We really don't want that direct corruption or any form of corruption of rating should happen in chess. No, it's not. It won't be acceptable. Chess is a really, really pure game. We want the chess to remain pure as much as it is possible. Here, Wesley so like statements means it shows that some type of corruptions have might have already started and it would be really dangerous for the chess future. Thing is, people who are already higher rated, they are offering that pay us some money and we will lose against you intentionally. It is just like a fixing a match. Okay. So like we have heard that in the cricket, some kind of fixings sometimes happens. So same way, same way in the chess, such fixings possibility have arose. And uh, as Wesley so have stated, okay, that he is getting such opportunity. So people are asking, maybe like some players, as he has stated, that players are asking him that give us some money and we will lose against you in a match. And that way you will gain uh, the rating points. So like this is a really, really dangerous situation. I think this should never happen. Okay. At least, at least if the tournaments are organized there also, it should be a fair play. Like le let's say example, even if Ali Reza Firuja is playing or even we have seen in the Chennai Grandmasters, like it's not happening in the Chennai Grandmaster that everyone is letting Gukesh or Arjun to win. Okay. Hari Krishna have won the first round against the bookish that you can see the same that video also I have posted on my channel. So any unfair things are not going on. Every all the entire tournament of Chennai Grandmasters Open has organized within the FIDE rules. Okay. Now let's have a look at this Carters tournament in which Ali Reza Firuja is playing. Okay. So here you can clearly see on the leeches. So in this tournament, okay, it is already written race to candidates 2023. The tournament is in such a format that Firuja will be playing against these three players, okay? These three players in a two-game match. Each and is uh, each and is held from 18 to 22nd of December in Cartes, France. So here the thing is, 
only four players are there in the tournament i am confused what type of tournament is this i have never seen like this before might have already happened earlier i am not aware of that but like the chennai grandmaster is a round robin tournament where eight grandmasters participated such tournaments we see frequently that is common but here you can see only four players ali reza and yeah, the three other grandmasters what they have been asked that ali reza will play with each of them okay two games with first two games with second two games with third so this is what ali reza has to do and what those three are doing they are not playing against each other okay so like i am confused what type of tournament they have kept it in a classical format of 90 minutes and uh, 90 plus 30 okay and here you can see already four games have happened and in the four games so like the first person was 225 uh, sorry this is the second person he is uh, this grandmaster is 2500 rated ali reza is 2700 rated okay and ali reza won both the games against the first and the second and against the third person also the third grandmaster also he is going to win both the games that's what i feel and as he wins it so <laughs> he will definitely gain lot of rating points and at least surpass wesley so it could like really surpass and become the uh, first in the rating list that is also the possibility okay so now you can tell me in the comments is this tournament correct not correct uh, should it be organized or what loopholes can it be done what fide could do to improve it okay and like uh, you can check out the other videos too of the controversy and this candidate is going to be like so much fun i would feel with all these players and they are fighting for the spot really hard all over the world trying to do all this find trying to find all the loopholes just to get selected for the candidates 2024 okay uh, please like this video such more informative videos i will keep posting on this channel so please subscribe to the channel as well